Shut up and sit down. What is up guys, Ron from Breaks here with the next war recap and this time we came across uh, Sao Central 4, a Brazilian clan and man we struggled this war. Um, we came away with a win 80 to 73, uh, they struggle uh, on our bases quite a lot as well but we struggled a lot, we had very very many high percent 2 star attacks and it's just I don't know, we just we just had a, a slump as a clan, I mean a lot of us had very very many 2 star attacks. I'm gonna show you now slowly through the attacks, you see here most of them are above 80% 2 stars and there's, there's a lot of them. But luckily, uh, I'll say congrats to Zara, Skip and DefC for bringing in a 6 star war, so good job to you guys, keep it up. Uh, but the rest of us struggled. I mean, I had 99% and 93%. I mean, we had we, we had a couple of people on trial in the war as well. They didn't do very well. One of them didn't make the cut, unfortunately. Um, <coughs> but yeah, we, we, we just struggled. We, we just struggled. It was, uh, was was not uh, a performance that we usually put up, and uh, uh, hopefully we'll bounce back this war coming. But anyway, let's get straight into the attacks and I'm gonna show Town Hall 8 first and I'm gonna show uh, Def C one, one of his attacks, number 27, he brings a very nice uh, Go Valo with a couple of hogs as well and an EQ, so he drops the EQ there, very nice spot. Uh, I think he brought Max Valks in CC, so he's got uh, something like 10 Valks, drops the Golem for some tank, a couple of Wizards for Funnel. Wall breakers to let everybody in, and he's gonna start sending his Valks. Yeah, and his king. CC troops start coming out. He's gonna he's gonna drop a rage now for his Valks, and the Valks are gonna deal with all those wizards and archers. He drops another heal in the core just to let them all heal up while they go ahead and start tripping bombs. Uh, he's got a couple of hogs on this cannon here because he noticed that he could take that out with just two two hogs, and then he's got loons for all of the backside defenses. He's got a golem tank, he's got a loon tank, the Valks absolutely just wrecked to the core, just destroyed all of the air defenses. I mean look at that hog you see here. So he's got he's had, had two hogs and he's still got one alive and he's gonna go and he's gonna <laughs> start taking those defenses down. So I think he's gonna take down the arch tower if or maybe not. He's getting targeted now. Uh, just just those two uh, defenses there, they're locked onto the Golemite there. Uh, just gonna fast forward uh, while these loons go ahead and finish the job. And then he's got cleanups everywhere, like cleanup troops everywhere. Valks, Wizards, Barbarian, Loon, crushed. Good job, DFC. Good job, buddy. Alright, next one I'm gonna show is number 20. Skip dog. Skip though coming at it with uh, Queen Walk Govaho and he's got level 8 Queen, he's got one healer of his own, he doesn't have the max healers yet but he brought two more from the clan castle and he's gonna take care of that side really, there's a double giant bomb between the cannon and the air defense so he's gonna take that down with the Queen Walk and uh, as soon as that one arch tower came down the Queen was absolutely safe with no problems. Uh, there. Let's fast forward a little bit here just because Queen walks, especially with level level 8 Queen, it will be slow. Drops a golem here, a couple of wizards for the funnel, uh, test wall breaker, and then he's gonna send the rest of the wall breakers and his king and his Valks. He's got only three Valks, but it's enough to, to do what they need to do is basically take care of the Queen and the CC troops. So he drops a rage for them there and a heal, keeping them all up and doing work for him. And he starts with a few hogs uh, and then like an Asian wall of hogs here, but he keeps five in the bag just to deploy them at a, at a bit of a later stage to reinforce the hogs. Now he drops a nice heal there, keeps almost all of the hogs there, and then drops the last hogs on that expo and he drops the last heal there as well just to keep them up going through that expo and Tesla. There was one giant bomb there. Oh, Two giant bombs there, but trips them one at a time, so very, very nicely done there. A uh, few spring traps, but no big deal. He's got a mini farm there, a mini piglet farm. 
so he's gonna take care of all those skellies and then it's just cleanup time beautiful beautiful raid by skip dog good job buddy three stars all right next one we're gonna show is number 18 what the huck coming at it with a very very nice laloon Shattered Laloon, so, uh, drops a minion there for an easy funnel, drops a golem, wizards right behind, create a funnel on the other side, another golem, a couple more wizards, create more funnel. The test warbreaker and then breaks the wall in. Fortunately the max golem doesn't redirect, but he's got a golem and the king and an hour rage coming down to deal with the CC. A couple of wizards there just to uh, strengthen that kill squad. Uh, poison for the CC, drops a jump to get to the Queen. A few barbarians start jumping towards that to take care of the Queen. The King finally jumps over, hops the wall, a couple of shots, she's down. Queen comes in, takes the two air defenses and the Tesla. And then I think he's just gonna pop the ability and then he's gonna start his Lalo from 2 o'clock. Drops the first Lava Hound, a couple of loons from behind, of the second Lava Hound. Just to make sure he's got enough tanking. Drops a nice haste there. Just to speed those loons up towards the air defense and drops the last lava hound from sort of nine o'clock. More loons backing everything up. So another hasty there up top at 12 o'clock. Just to speed those loons up to catch up. More loons, another haste on the bottom compartment. And haste there in the core as well. And his base is pretty much crushed now. All the balloons rush towards the last two defenses. He catches a, a, an air mine there, and the wizard is doing a little bit of work, but he's got just enough, uh, just enough pups and and loons for the cleanup. Uh, the lava hound now is going towards that cannon. He's gonna eat a black bomb, and there we go. And that's it is closed now. So pops everywhere all over the base. The loons go and finish off that Tesla, and then all the pups come back and clean up the rest. Good job, Huck. Alright, next one I'm gonna show is number 13. Mo. Mo coming at it with a really nice stone goho. That was a couple of golems, a couple of wizards, just to start the funnel, the normal, normal stuff, guys. I do every single attack. I really like that poison there on the king because that king would have taken down in combination with that expo or absolutely wrecked that golem. It's already on low health, but that poison just helps it survive just a little bit longer. See, it stayed just about untouched and now it breaks. But that king is down now, so the golem has done his job. The second golem bursts, but the third got in there. Drops the jump to get to the queen and into the core. The queen is locked onto the um, lava hound, CC lava hound. Drops a heal there just to keep his, his royals up a little bit because the king was uh, was about to go down but now he's got enough health to go and take that queen. Uh, he's already started with the hogs. Taking care of the defenses that they were flagging his kill squad. And just reinforcing hogs as, 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 as they move along towards uh, uh, through the base pretty much. Queen just pops ability now. Gets, gets away from that expo fire. All of the hogs congregate here in the last few defenses. Really nice, really nice heal spell there. Catches a bomb, but luckily the hogs are still in heal, so they get healed back up. And it's quite a few now for the the last three defenses that the uh, expo is the biggest threat, but a lot of the hogs come in, finish it off. And just about enough hogs to take care of that arch tower and then they turn around and they kill the skellies and it's clean up time. Really nice attack. And it was towards the end of the war and really needed the three stars, so good job to you buddy for, for coming and delivering in the in, in, in the war, in the late moments of the war. Three stars, good job Mo. Alright, next one I'm gonna show is number five. I don't normally show dips, but I'm gonna show it this time. 
So just because he didn't use the extra spell that he needed and he doesn't have the extra troop capacity, he, doesn't, he, he only has the max uh, Balks and max Hulks, obviously they make a huge difference and that's why I, don't, I didn't want normally to, uh, to show dips. But I'm gonna show it this time because it was a very sweet attack and uh, those level 5 Valks are just really really strong. So it drops uh, the first jump, no wall breakers there needed, just straight jumps in the Valks, go through the core and drops the second jump to get to the Queen and to the, to the core. And they're like, they just cut through straight through the base, I mean, he's got very few hogs and uh, he's just sending them flanking these defenses here. I mean, the Valks just absolutely, and the King just absolutely cut through and his King hasn't been touched yet, I mean... <laughs> That's crazy. That one golem, like it's it's still full health, and all of the fire was soaked up by the Valks pretty much. And the king is just still hasn't been touched. They all sort of finish off here at around nine o'clock area. All the troops meet up there. Queen, king. There you go. There's the swag heal and swag poison. Obviously we didn't need those. Pops the king ability just now, pops the queen ability just now, and it's game over as they finish off on the last wizard tower. Good job, O3. Good job being a bully. Good bully. <laughs> Good job, buddy. I'm only joking. Anyway, uh, last raid I'm gonna show is number 3 by Rex. Really nice attack, I really enjoyed this, uh, watching this. Uh, he only takes, he is a, he's doing a queen walk with only two healers, I really like that, it was a very very nice executed attack and he recognized that he doesn't need more than two healers so he didn't bring more than two healers, what is the point of that? So uh, sends the queen uh, right out of uh, 8 o'clock area to deal with that compartment over there, sends a couple of wizards there just for uh, early funnel and starts sending the golem, queen is getting a little bit low now and with the expo locking onto her, he's gonna have to pop the ability. There we go. But she's back onto full health, so the expo now, like the, the healers can catch up with the expo, it's not a problem. And the queen will move away. There we go. Move, moves out of range now, anyway. So a bit of a scare here, a bit of a, almost a, a, a wall, um, a funnel, uh, funnel error. Uh, it sends that set, dropping, see. Breaking the funnel with those minions there is what well, pushed the Valks back into the back into the base and the king as well. When the CC troops start coming out, it drops a, a rage and a heal for the Valks there to deal with all of that. It drops another heal in the core. And starting with the hogs, he's got max max hogs in the CC as well. And all of the jump, all, all of the double giant bombs, I think they're all triple uh, are all tripped now. Drops the last heal for all of the hogs there to get inside. I don't think he lost a single hog this raid to be honest. Uh, unless unless it was spring trapped or something like that. But I don't think he lost a, a single hog. Maybe now that cannon. Yeah, that cannon. Yeah, that cannon heal killed a, a hog all the way towards the end. I mean, look at how many hogs left. <laughs> really nice attack. I really I really like that. Poor poor base design, but the the, the attack was just perfect. Perfect. Really good job, Rex. Good job to everybody guys, uh, even though it wasn't our best performance, uh, we managed to pull away the win, so we're happy with that, we'll take that any, any, any day. Uh, but hopefully we'll, 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 we'll come out stronger in this next war coming up, uh, we'll have a little bit of a disadvantage, but it's not that big of a deal, uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't look like it's going to be much of a problem. Um, I think that's all for me guys for this video, uh, stay tuned for the next video and uh, leave your comments, likes uh, below for the video, whatever you guys, you know the usual stuff, um, and uh, yeah, until next time guys, be good.